You wouldn't expect to find llamas in someone's backyard, but one Arizona woman has an entire pack. She's rescuing the abandoned animals from states all across the Southwest, trying to find them good homes. ABC News on-campus reporter Maxine Park reports from Chandler, Arizona. Barbara Peacock keeps something special in her backyard. I'm a big guy. And it's not what you'd expect to find. This is Navajo, Hopi. It's Apache, Lakota. She takes care of llamas. <laughs> Wonderful, quiet animals that had a special spirit. Barbara is the president of the Arizona Llama Rescue, taking in llamas from states all across the Southwest swallow, that people have left behind. They just don't want them anymore. They bought them when they were cute babies, and they're not cute anymore. And, uh, that, and that's, that's probably the main reasons right there. Llamas are not your traditional four-legged animal. Originally, they came from South America, and um, Randolph Hearst was the one, first one that brought them into uh, the United States, and uh, he had them up in the Catskills in uh, New York, and then he started selling them and moving them out. At one point, Barbara said she had up to 20 llamas in her backyard, including ones like Sinbad right here, causing curious onlookers to stop and take a look across the fence. All the family down in the strollers and on the bicycles and they'd line up against the fence and of course I'd come out and give them a little talk about llamas and introduce them to everybody. And Her husband Donald says the llamas are like his wife's children. She trains pretty good. They train her pretty good too. <laughs> I've got a lot of patience that I don't think I have patients in that area so much. Barbara says her hope is to make sure every llama finds a good home, meeting with potential buyers and inspecting the property. And we have a, a whole questionnaire to fill out, plus when we go to the f uh, farm to check it out, I have a whole list of things that I have to look for, you know, proper fencing, protection from the weather. And it's all for a good cause. They're pretty, and they keep the grass mowed, and. Um, so what if they are yard ornaments? That's all mine are. Yard ornaments, which Barbara says have made her life richer. For ABC News on Canvas, Maxine Park, Chandler, Arizona. ABC News Now. Good to know.